What are uranium deposits? Uranium deposits are naturally occurring concentrations of uranium in the Earth's crust. Uranium is a radioactive element with the atomic number 92, and it is used primarily as a fuel for nuclear power plants and in the production of nuclear weapons. There are three main types of uranium deposits, unconformity type deposits, sandstone type deposits, and granite type deposits. Unconformity type deposits are the most common and contain up to 50% of the world's known uranium resources. These deposits are found at the boundary between two rock formations, where there is a significant change in the geology of the area. Sandstone type deposits are found in sedimentary rocks, and granite type deposits are found in igneous rocks. The distribution of uranium deposits around the world is not uniform. The largest uranium deposits are found in Kazakhstan, Canada, and Australia. Other significant deposits are found in Namibia, Niger, Russia, and the United States. The quality and quantity of uranium in a deposit can vary widely, and the extraction of uranium from the ore is a complex and expensive process. The exploration, mining, and processing of uranium can have significant environmental and health impacts, including radiation exposure, water pollution, and habitat destruction. Therefore, it is important that these activities are conducted in a responsible and safe manner, with appropriate measures taken to protect workers, local communities, and the environment. What are unconformity type deposits? Unconformity type deposits are a type of uranium deposit that are formed at the boundary between two rock formations, where there is a significant change in the geology of the area. These deposits are the most common type of uranium deposit and are found in many parts of the world. Unconformity type deposits are usually associated with sedimentary rocks, such as sandstones and shales, which have been subjected to uplift and erosion. As the rocks are eroded, the uranium contained in them can be leached out and transported by groundwater. When the groundwater reaches a region where there is a change in the geology, such as the boundary between two rock formations, the uranium can become concentrated and form a deposit. The processes that create unconformity type deposits are complex and involve a variety of geological factors, including the nature of the host rocks, the composition of the groundwater, and the timing and duration of the geological events that created the unconformity. Unconformity type deposits can vary widely in size, from small, isolated deposits to large, extensive deposits that span multiple rock formations. They can also vary in grade, or the concentration of uranium in the deposit, which can impact the economic viability of mining and processing the uranium. The extraction of uranium from unconformity type deposits can involve both open pit and underground mining, as well as complex processing techniques to extract the uranium from the ore. These activities can have significant environmental and health impacts, and it is important that they are conducted in a responsible and safe manner, with appropriate measures taken to protect workers, local communities, and the environment. What are sandstone type deposits? Sandstone type deposits are a type of uranium deposit that are found in sandstones and related sedimentary rocks. These deposits are formed when groundwater flows through the porous sandstone, dissolving and transporting uranium from the surrounding rocks and depositing it in the sandstone. The sandstone type deposits are typically found in relatively shallow sedimentary basins and are often associated with ancient river channels or other features that allowed the groundwater to flow freely. The sandstone type deposits are typically found in layers or lenses within the sandstone, with the highest concentrations of uranium typically located near the bottom of the deposit. The grade of sandstone type deposits can vary widely, depending on factors such as the composition of the host rock, the nature of the groundwater, and the duration of the geological processes that formed the deposit. Some sandstone type deposits have relatively low grades of uranium and may not be economically viable to mine, while others have very high grades and can be very profitable to extract. The extraction of uranium from sandstone type deposits typically involves in-situ recovery, ISR, 
techniques, which involve the injection of a solution into the deposit to dissolve the uranium and then pumping the solution back to the surface for processing. ISR is a relatively low-impact mining technique that can be less expensive and less disruptive than conventional open pit or underground mining. However, the extraction of uranium from sandstone-type deposits, as with all uranium mining activities, can have significant environmental and health impacts. It is important that these activities are conducted in a responsible and safe manner, with appropriate measures taken to protect workers, local communities, and the environment. What are granite-type deposits? Granite-type deposits are a type of uranium deposit that are found in granitic rocks. These deposits are formed when uranium-bearing fluids or melts intrude into the granitic rock and deposit uranium minerals in fractures, veins, and other structures within the rock. Granite-type deposits are typically found in highly deformed and metamorphosed rocks, where the granite has been exposed to high temperatures and pressures over long periods of time. The deposits can vary in size from small veins to large, extensive or bodies, and can have relatively high grades of uranium. The extraction of uranium from granite-type deposits typically involves conventional open pit or underground mining techniques, followed by processing to extract the uranium from the ore. The extraction of uranium from granite-type deposits can be more challenging than from other types of uranium deposits due to the complex geology of the deposit and the presence of other minerals that can interfere with the extraction process. Like all uranium mining activities, the extraction of uranium from granite-type deposits can have significant environmental and health impacts. It is important that these activities are conducted in a responsible and safe manner, with appropriate measures taken to protect workers, local communities, and the environment. The management of radioactive waste generated during the mining and processing of uranium is also an important consideration for the safe and responsible development of granite-type deposits. How are uranium deposits formed? Uranium deposits are formed through a variety of geological processes. Here are some of the most common ways uranium deposits are formed. Igneous processes. Uranium can be concentrated in magma chambers and hydrothermal systems associated with igneous activity. When these systems cool and solidify, the uranium can become concentrated in veins, pegmatites, and other structures within the rock. Sedimentary processes. Uranium can also be concentrated in sedimentary rocks, such as sandstones, shales, and limestones. This can occur through a variety of processes, including the precipitation of uranium minerals from groundwater, the concentration of uranium in organic-rich sediments, and the accumulation of uranium in reducing environments. Metamorphic processes. Uranium can be mobilized and concentrated during metamorphism, which is the process of changing one type of rock into another through heat and pressure. Metamorphic processes can lead to the formation of uranium deposits in a variety of rock types, including schists, gneisses, and quartzites. Hydrothermal processes. Uranium can also be deposited through hydrothermal processes, which involve the circulation of hot, mineral-rich fluids through fractures and other structures in rocks. Hydrothermal deposits are often associated with volcanic and geothermal activity. The specific process by which a uranium deposit is formed can have a significant impact on the size, grade, and location of the deposit. The exploration and development of uranium deposits require a detailed understanding of the geology and mineralogy of the deposit, as well as the local environmental and regulatory conditions. It is important that uranium mining activities are conducted in a responsible and safe manner to protect workers, local communities, and the environment. Uranium deposits are found throughout the world, but some regions have more abundant and economically viable deposits than others. Here are some of the regions where uranium deposits are most abundant. Canada. Canada is one of the world's largest producers of uranium, with most of the production coming from the Athabasca Basin in Saskatchewan. 
The Athabasca Basin contains some of the world's highest grade uranium deposits, including the MacArthur River and Cigar Lake mines. Kazakhstan Kazakhstan is the world's largest producer of uranium, with most of the production coming from the country's mines in the south central part of the country. The deposits in Kazakhstan are generally lower grade than those in Canada but are still economically viable to mine. Australia Australia is the world's third largest producer of uranium, with most of the production coming from mines in the Northern Territory and South Australia. The deposits in Australia are generally lower grade than those in Canada but are still economically viable to mine. Niger Niger is Africa's largest producer of uranium, with most of the production coming from the Arlet deposit in the Agadez region of the country. The deposits in Niger are generally lower grade than those in Canada and Kazakhstan but are still economically viable to mine. Russia Russia is one of the world's largest producers of uranium, with most of the production coming from mines in the Transurals region of the country. The deposits in Russia are generally lower grade than those in Canada and Kazakhstan but are still economically viable to mine. USA the United States is one of the world's largest producers of uranium, with most of the production coming from mines in Wyoming, New Mexico, and Nebraska. The deposits in the U.S. are generally lower grade than those in Canada and Kazakhstan but are still economically viable to mine. Other countries with significant uranium deposits include China, Uzbekistan, Namibia, and Mongolia. The abundance and viability of uranium deposits can vary widely depending on factors such as geology, grade, and infrastructure, as well as economic and regulatory factors. It is important to note that the development and extraction of uranium deposits can have significant environmental and health impacts, and it is important that these activities are conducted in a responsible and safe manner. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications.